Guys, I'm here. I made it. This is a Mara farm. Let me show you around. This is the view outside my front door. There's lots of greenhouses, as you would expect. And uh, this is a surprisingly well-stocked kitchen. I'm going to enjoy myself in here, complete with a wood stove. Every farmhouse needs one. In the last video, some of you were asking if I could show you all the equipment that I stuffed into my car when it was all set up. So uh, this is my bedroom, and uh, this is my office, and this is my equipment room, all in one space. I've been here two days, and I've done a little bit of everything. So let me show you what I've worked on. Um, this is fennel that we transplanted. Um, this is the very first thing that I did. Um, it's not much to see here because it's covered up from the sun, but these transplants are uh, a bit more interesting. Um, they were a lot of work. Um, this is eggplant and shishito peppers. And the trick with these is you got to keep the roots super straight um, or they die. Like this one. I think I killed this one. These are potatoes. Uh, I guess they're pretty straightforward. Dig a trench, fertilize the trench, throw the potatoes in, uh, cover them up with dirt. You gotta make them into a mound. See this mound? I made that mound. This is some irrigation that I helped lay down. Um, it's apparently our farm manager's least favorite job. I didn't think it was too bad. But this, this was my least favorite job. You see all those chicken pox markings on the plastic? I made every single one of those. And you don't think that's so bad. But when you do it on 13 rows, lean down, get up, lean down, get up. It's like doing squats for two hours. So it was a bit much for my back. I, I got to admit, I didn't do the last two rows. The farm manager wouldn't let me because, to be honest, I couldn't stand. I felt really defeated. And... <laughs> I mean, Kate just said that's farm life. It defeats you. Uh, I don't know what to say. I liked weeding a lot better. Under here, these are all carrot beds that I weeded. When I weeded them, they were like that big. If you look at them now, you can't really see them. I don't want to disturb them, but they've like tripled in size in two days. Check that out. Those are carrots. I want to show you how weeding carrot beds actually works because it's not like weeding. You're not down on your knees pulling out roots if, if they have roots that you have to pull out, the weeds have already stolen the nutrition that you want going into the carrots. So you gotta get the weeds when they're small, like really small. And weeding, you just kind of brush them with your finger, just like that. Weeding's kind of fun. It's, 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 actually, it's actually really hard to stop weeding because it, it's, it's like a video game. There's always just one more weed, one more weed. And, pretty soon you spent the entire day waiting. Turns out there are some things that you pull out by the roots. This was all miner's lettuce that I just tore out. They'd grown it and I guess they didn't need it or it wasn't selling or maybe they grew it for nutrition, I don't know. But uh, I ripped it all out. And this was actually my favorite job because I got to eat a salad while I was doing it. You know, it's miner's lettuce, you can eat it. So I just put it in my mouth and there was some other salad greens growing on the road just as weeds. So I, oh, well, that, that thing looks good. It's Let's try that one. Ooh, that's kind of spicy. It was great. This is all the hard-grown miner's lettuce uh, on the compost pile where I put it, and presumably we'll plant something else in there next. I saved the best for last. This is arugula that we harvested two days ago. It's already starting to regrow, but you can kind of see on the left, I cut that down to the roots. I feel like a real farmer now. I've harvested food with my hands for people that bought it at market. That's, that's cool. I like that. So I feel like I've done everything. I've seeded, I've planted, I've weeded, I've harvested. How much more can there be? <laughs> I'm sure there's lots more. Uh, why don't you tell me uh, what kind of farming uh, I've missed and uh, what new and exciting ways I can find to ruin my back in the future. Uh, let me know uh, what uh, farming experiences I have to look forward to in the comments. Um, if you want to keep uh, hearing my updates, you can subscribe to uh, the YouTube channel. If you want to get updates for the film project that I'm working on, uh, you can sign up at thehensthatfeedus.ca. 
Uh, and if you do sign up there, uh, keep your eyes peeled for a blog post that I'm writing about uh, how capitalism makes it really hard for farmers to actually own the farms that they work on. Anyway, thanks for watching. Till next time.